Play Zoo friends, my name is Jenny. Thanks for joining us for another episode of the Hamill Family Play Zoo video series, bringing the Play Zoo to you. Have you seen any winter birds in your neighborhood? Today, we will make yummy treats for the wild winter birds who stay in Illinois all winter long. Let's go. Just like the monarch butterfly, some birds in Illinois, like ducks and sparrows, fly south before winter comes. They migrate to places where the weather is warmer. But there are lots of wild birds who stay here in Illinois all winter long. You might see winter birds like cardinals and juncos visiting the trees in our yards, parks, and neighborhoods. Wild birds know how to find food to eat, but it's harder to find food in the winter. We can help the wild birds in our neighborhoods by making them yummy, healthy treats. Wild birds need food that will make them healthy and strong, just like people do. It is important to make sure that the food we choose is the right food for wild birds. Let's look at the healthy ingredients that we will be using for our wild winter bird treats. Wild bird seed mix with sunflower seed, millet, and cracked corn. Vegetable shortening or nut butter, or both. Optional, chopped raisins or currants cornmeal, chopped unsalted nuts, fresh fruit like apples and grapes. Now let's make our wild winter bird treats. First, we will add one cup of fat to our bowl. Fat gives winter birds lots of energy so they can hop and fly and move all day long. Keeping busy and moving is one way that winter birds stay warm. Vegetable shortening and nut butter are both healthy sources of fat for wild birds. You can use one or both. Next, we will add two cups of our dry ingredients to our bowl. Bird seed mixes are a great way to feed a lot of different types of wild birds. We can add other healthy ingredients too, like dried fruit, cornmeal, chopped nuts, and fresh fruit like apples or grapes. Add a total of two cups of dry ingredients to your bowl, whichever kind you choose. Now, let's mix. We can mix the ingredients for our wild winter bird treats with a spoon or with our hands. I wonder what different kinds of textures we can feel if we mix with our hands. Wow. This is fun and messy. I feel smooth and slippery pieces. I can feel squishy pieces and hard pieces, prickly pieces and grainy pieces. There are so many different textures to explore. Now that our ingredients are combined, we can choose how to shape our wild winter bird treats. One way is to use a yogurt cup. Work with the grown-up to punch a hole in the bottom of your cup. Then tie a knot at the bottom of a piece of string and pull your string through the hole. Then fill your cup with the dough. <laughs> Another way to shape your wild winter bird treats is to roll it into a ball or to pat it into a cake. I wonder, how will you shape your wild winter bird treats? When we are done shaping our wild winter bird treats, we can stick them in the freezer so they get nice and solid. It's best to keep them in the freezer overnight. And we can make extras to keep in the freezer so that we have treats for the neighborhood birds all winter long. Now our wild winter bird treats are solid and ready for the birds. If you used a yogurt cup, work with the grown-up to cut the cup and peel it away. <laughs> you can also add a string to one of the other shapes that you made. Now we need to find a good spot for hanging. Be sure to find a spot that's far enough away from a window to give the birds plenty of space. And we need to hang it somewhere where they can perch while they're eating. When we tie it around a branch, remember to leave room between your fingers and the string so that it's safe for the tree. Some birds prefer to eat on the ground or in a bush, so let's put bird treats in those places too. 
<laughs> wow, it's going to be fun to watch the neighborhood birds enjoy our wild winter bird treats. If you'd like to share pictures of your neighborhood birds, send them to the address on your screen. And be sure to join us next time to make colorful ice creations. See you next time.